thank the Director General, Nigerian Army Heritage and Future Center, and his staff for organizing this inaugural seminar, all lecture, and inviting me to be the special guest of honor. It is with great delight that I welcome and express my profound appreciation to our immediate past Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yaya, Commander, Order of the Federal Republic, Nigerian Army Medal, the highly esteemed resource persons, and other distinguished guests to this great occasion. Some year may recall that on 26 January this year, this center was commissioned by the then Chief of Defense Staff, General Elio Irabo, Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic. On that same day, General Yaya, who as the Chief of Army Staff, conceptualized and facilitated the establishment and construction of the center, also inaugurated this center. I recall General Ayaya, in his address on, at that occasion, charged the pioneer staff of the center on the need to hit the ground running and bring ideas that are noble to this center. I'm pleased to observe that in line with the charge on that all-important day, the pioneer director general of the center, Major General K.O. Kadiri, retired, led his team of dedicated staff officers and soldiers to begin the process of laying a solid foundation for the Nigerian Army Heritage and Future Center by crafting its motto mission, and vision statements. The Pioneer team went further to develop a policy handbook that spells out the duties and responsibilities of all appointments and staff of the center. Although my appointment as the Chief of Army Staff and the subsequent retirement of the then Director General and a good number of the senior officers of the center paused some of the processes set in motion by the past administration. I'm glad to see that the new team has picked up the challenge and is now following the trajectory set by the pioneer team. This continuity testifies to the quality of ideas generated and initiated by the pioneer team and I wish to salute them for such an excellent job. Holding seminars or lectures on topical issues that benefit the Nigerian Army is one of such noble ideas that the new Nigerian Army Heritage and Future Center management has come up with. Today's meeting or inaugural lecture sets this center on a new pedestal in his quest for excellence in generating quality and valuable ideas for the Nigerian Army. Today's lecture, titled Transforming Nigerian Army Heritage and Future Center from Dream to Reality, is apt and could not have come at a better time than this. Coupled with the quality of resource persons invited to handle this lecture or seminar, I believe that the outcome of today's event will assist the Director General and the management team to reposition the center towards attaining the vision of the founding fathers of this great institution, which is to enhance Nigerian Army's capabilities through analysis of policies, practices, and procedures by processing, uh, proposing novel and pragmatic options through innovation and application of technology. When juxtaposed with the mission statement of the center, which is to serve as a research hub for the generation of ideas, 
policies and strategies, leveraging on the core competencies of the Nigerian army to defeat current and future threats while preserving its heritage, it becomes clear that the idea behind the center is not only that of excellence, but also of solution finding. It is no news that the Nigerian Army and its sister services, together with other security agencies, are today confronted by myriads of security challenges across all geopolitical zones of the country. These challenges, which range from terrorism, banditry, kidnapping, farmers' status clash, and oil theft, have continued to adapt to and defy solutions. Today, criminal groups across the zones are fast keeping pace with our options, thereby making our effort of not too significant effect. Therefore, establishments such as the Nigerian Army Heritage and Future Center must rise to the occasion by equally turning out options for the Nigerian Army at a pace the bad guys cannot keep up with. Therefore, I expect that today's lecture and the subsequent interactive session will generate new ideas and outcomes that we elucidate the nexus between the Nigerian Army Heritage and Future Center's vision and my command philosophy of transforming the Nigerian Army into a well-trained, equipped, and highly motivated force towards achieving our constitutional responsibilities within a joint environment. Finding such a nexus will help align the center with my philosophy of command and make the center a veritable tool for achieving my vision for the Nigerian army. Let me, at this juncture, once again commend the Director General Nigerian Army Heritage and Future Center and his staff for organizing this maiden lecture and bringing together this highly cerebral group of resource persons to do justice to the topic of the day. Having known them for over three decades, I can attest to the quality and have thus no doubt that they will deliver. Therefore, I urge the Nigerian Army Heritage and Future Center and all participants to maximize this opportunity and tap from the knowledge and wealth of experience of our resource persons for the benefit of the Nigerian Army. I want to seize this opportunity to assure the Nigerian Army Heritage and Future Center of my continuous support as it sets out to execute its mandate. It is incumbent upon us to adequately equip the center staff for the task ahead, and I shall not fail to do just that. In closing, I most sincerely appreciate the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, for his steadfast support to the Nigerian Army. Again, I assure Mr. President that our loyalty to the Nigeria's constitution and support for our democracy is unflinching. I also want to thank the immediate past Chief of Army Staff, distinguished resource persons, and other guests, again, for finding time to grace this occasion. Finally, I congratulate the Director General and his team for making this happen. On this note, it is my honor to declare the inaugural Nigerian Army Heritage and Future Center seminar open. Music